what's up YouTube, now today you can see um, two Belgian fuses if you remember in my last video I uh, just had this one obviously with this adapter which has now been taken off um, luckily I spotted this one on eBay and then um, couldn't help but buy it it um, came with a wooden base which has been stuck on you can still see the gully on the bottom of this and then um, it's still got the base plug in it which is the main thing for me because this one doesn't have the base plug in it so it's it's lacking the detonators and internal mechanisms so this one's got I'm hoping all the stuff still inside in good condition and overall if you can probably see by the quality this one is better condition look at the numbers on this one they're all a bit faded a bit, a bit um, you can't really see them but looking at this one numbers are all in mint condition no um, no surface corrosion as such and the threads are still good so if I just take the adapter from this one I can screw it onto the new fuse pretty easily so I'm pretty happy with the way this has turned out and um, that I've bought it so all I've got to do is hope that inside here the steel ring or the steel washer still in good contact uh, in good condition you can still see rust there which isn't the best sign um, the chances are it might have just corroded away and it, it probably will just fall to pieces when I get it out so I'm kind of hoping that it's still in good condition it may still be in good condition and um, judging by the powder that's coming out of this I'm guessing it's still still full of gunpowder albeit probably inert because it's been in the ground for quite a few years so um, I'm going to have to empty all this out, heat it up and get it apart which you are going to see very shortly so keep on. 